Hi folks, this is Dr. Magal. Uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, okay, this is another interesting, uh, you know, real world problem which we are going to solve. Uh, this is going to be a car park occupied slot uh, counting system. You see the graphics on your right where you see uh, empty parking uh, slots. Uh, so we are going to design a system and in this system we can park, uh, it's, it's going to have 15 slots. Uh, and you would like to know how many of those parking slots are occupied at a given time and we would display the rail count number using both LEDs and seven, seven, uh, seven segment display on the basis three board which will be the output. Uh, we are also going to assume in this problem uh, that we are placing a sensor over each slot which gives the output lo uh, logic level one when the slot is occupied mean meaning when the uh, car is parked. Uh, if the slot is empty, uh, sensor gives output logic level zero. Uh, and for, uh, as an input, we are going to use switches on the basis three board. So uh, we have a problem, we need to solve it. We just need to uh, find out the number of uh, count on the parking. Uh, this could be a parking garage or any, you know, uh, small parking area. Uh, so let's get rolling and let's uh, uh, write a code for it uh, using the very log. So I have already created a new project and I have all already created a new uh, source file and I have named it as parking system. I'm going to add input to it. The input is going to be the switches which is going to represent the cars uh, parked on a parking slot. And since uh, this parking garage or whatever it is has a capacity of uh, 15, so this ha I'll declare this as an array. Uh, and then, actually, I'll just say these are uh, cars. Okay. Also, the output is going to be a uh, number of uh, cars. So I'll say count. Uh, and uh, would declare it as a register uh, and obviously we got 15 slots so um, the maximum count would be 15 and therefore we would need 4 bit uh, to display 15 so this has to be an array again uh, so my inputs and outputs are done pretty much I'm gonna start off my code by saying always anytime uh, any car comes in and uh, park at a empty parking slot that is when the sensor is actuated that's why I'm using uh, the always at uh, and then I'm just basically going to use the uh, the arithmetic uh, operation um, so count equals to and just basically add all the um, all the inputs so I'll start with cars 14 um, we're doing binary addition number of parking slots which are 15 uh, so we need to count individually all of them and add them and that binary number will be uh, stored in a variable called count which is our output so 13 plus cars now just keep on doing for the rest now finish the code Finish the code for all the 15 uh, parking slots. Uh, so it goes from 0 to 14, so that's 15. Uh, again, we are basically doing binary addition here, so we know the total count uh, on the cars, on the parking park cars. Uh, this is basically our, going to be our output, which is the uh, number of cars parked. Uh, and these are uh, the sensor uh, called at each parking slot. Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to save this uh, and I'm going to synthesize it now. Take few seconds to run the synthesis, so just be patient. 
Okay, uh, now that we have been able to successfully synthesize uh, this part of the project, we are going to move on to the next part, which would be to adding another source uh, for the seven segment display. Because remember, we want to display our output using both LEDs in seven segment. So I'm gonna create a new source file and uh, do the coding for the seven segment. This is something we have also done in the other video that I have made, but I'll do it in front of you real quick. Uh, so I created another source file by the name of seven segment. Let's define our inputs. Inputs, uh, input is going to be uh, a vector. Uh, zero. And, and I'm gonna use the variable name as in for inputs. Okay. Uh, and then we ha would have output and I'm going to declare it as a vector. And you have seven segments, so it goes from six to and I'm going to use the variable name sec. Then I'm gonna start my coding by saying always uh, followed by begin and then we will basically do uh, case uh, use gonna use case statement here. Again we are looking at the inputs. Okay? So when the inputs are all set to well, all are zero that means we would want to display A0, B0, C0, D segment is 0, E segment is 0, F segment is 0, G segment is going to be 1 because so this is going to display 0 on the 7th segment. Uh, remember, this 7th uh, segment on base 3 board uh, active loads. Oh. Uh, and then these seven bits basically the way they are arranged is uh, segments arranged at A, B, C, D, E. If the input is 001 that means you need to display one on the seventh segment but which would mean you can do it uh, uh, let me show you the seventh segment okay. so here is the seventh segment display and uh, in order to display one you can either uh, have F and E segments on or B as a B or C, B and C on so it's up to you whichever way you want to do it I'm gonna go with B and C. So let me go back here. Uh, so A is one, B and C are zero, and most of the other bits are the. Um, this will display one on the segment. Uh, and similarly, I'll do it for another one. Uh, zero zero one zero. That's me. We would want to display. Two on the seventh segment. So let's go back to here. So A, B, G, E, D are going to be zero. A, B, C is one. B e is going to be zero. E is going to be one. On zero, so A, B, D, E, F, G. Which are A, B, G, E, D. So we should have one, two, three, four, five zeros. Two, three, four. You're missing one more. A, B, A, B, C, D. E. Oh, this is going to be zero. Okay. Alright, perfect. Uh, and this is Similarly, you do it for the others. You do it for other inputs. 
uh, and you will display uh, in a in a hexadecimal number. Okay, so it will go from zero to F. Okay. Uh, the decimal format. So I went ahead and finished the code, and I did it for the other inputs. Uh, let's look at one more, the last one right here. Uh, when all the bits are high, that means uh, uh, it would make a code of uh, 15, which is basically F. Uh, and in order, we can make F using A, F, E, and G. Okay. A is G 0 and G, E, F are 0, and the rest of the other segments are 1. Uh, here I'm going to uh, say end case because this is where the case statement is wrap, wraps up. Uh, followed, followed by the end and uh, I'll say kill here. Uh, it should automatically be there. I don't know where it needs to be. There it is. I'm just going to erase this one. Okay, let's go ahead and save the code and run set 6. As I was saving the project, it gave me this error right here, line number 28, and I noticed I'm actually missing the at the rate sign here. Uh, so as I save it, uh, okay, perfect. Uh, run synthesis process is in process right now, uh, and it will take few seconds, so just be patient again. Um, it should be done. Soon. Awesome, so it went through perfectly fine. We got our two basic modules ready now, the seventh segment and the parking uh, slot system. Now we need a top module putting everything together. So let's create another source file and finish the code for it. Let's get started uh, with the code. So, first of all, I need to define my input. Uh, which is going to be uh, 15 uh, parking slots. Um, so starting zero to 15. So that's 15. And I'm gonna use the same variable in cars. It would be the LEDs. So I'll use count. And I need four bits because the maximum count here could be 15. And for that, I need four bits. So I'll declare this as an error also here. And this will be count. Uh, output would be the seven segments of the seven segment display. Uh, I'll just uh, sec and then enable. For the enabling the seven segment displays. And we have four of those. Uh, so this needs to be here. And this is done. I'm going to use the assign function for the label. We're just going to use one of these seven segments, the, the rightmost. So I'll just say for the triple one, zero. Okay. Uh, we are now going to uh, instantiate the two modules that we created. One was the uh, parking system. Uh, and here comes the identifier, do not. Uh, in the parking system, the inputs are going to be the cars, comma, the output, which is count, and then seven segment, uh, instantiating that also. Seven segment, I'll just use the another identifier, which will be U1. And here, the, in the seven segment, we're gonna have count. Uh, as an input, and also the segments are going to be the output. Uh, with this, I actually my code is ready. Uh, I'm going to save it, uh, and hopefully, uh, now you can notice the hierarchy here. I got my top module, uh, and under that top module, I got my parking system uh, and the seven segment, the two source file that I created. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, before we can uh, do the implementation of synthesis, let's also work on our constant file. I went ahead and added my inputs, which are basically going to be my 15 switches that I'm using, 0 to 14, 
uh, make sure these variable names matches exactly uh, with uh, how you have over here uh, we need LEDs so I got six of those uh, yeah four of those LEDs right here uh, okay so again the maximum count could be 15 so I need only four LEDs because 15 would make a code of double one double one I need my seven segments which are over here uh, again make sure this may matches with exactly the way you have over here uh, sec uh, sometimes you have to change the sequence in order to get the right display so if it's zero you have to make uh, six uh, depending upon how you put your logic with seven segment file where this was a for me this was b for me okay if this is g for you this is e for you, f for you and this is e for you and the rightmost is a then you have to switch the order and this is going to be seg zero and this is going to be seg six okay so change it accordingly and then i got the four enables right here this, this is my constant file right here i'm going to select my top module and then run implementation obviously uh, it's going to do the synthesis first um, it's going to take uh, a minute maybe uh, so let's just wait and be patient awesome so implementation is complete now you are going to generate a bit string file uh, click here and again it should take few seconds perfect beautiful uh, bit stream is complete uh, let's click on open hardware manager click ok uh, and then I'm going to choose the target click open target here click next uh, make sure you have this local server connected click next your device should show up over here finish it uh, and now the last part is actually programming the device it should automatically pop up uh, pull your bit file right here program it and you should see the implementation of the power parking system on your base 2 board uh, this is it from this part of the project let's move on to the basis 3 board all right so here is the uh, parking stock system up and running the file was uh, downloaded onto the FPGA board uh, so notice as all the switches are set to zero uh, and it is displaying zero as the counter goes up uh, as the car is being parked on this slot which is switch zero say slot number zero uh, so it goes up by one another car comes in it goes to two notice you have the LED over here making a code of one zero which is a binary code for two third car comes in four comes in five comes in that makes a code of one zero one uh, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, and you notice all four LEDs, LED lights are light up. So this is your parking slot system. You can add more features to it if you like. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in another one. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, okay? The more you like it, the more feedback I get, the more motivated I get to make more of these fun videos for you. Thank you again for your watching. Bye.